SP Astro Alliance, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate a different way to um, make references in Excel using offset. So a video I created the other day, this is where we were um, telling Excel and AutoHotKey exactly where each of these things were, right? Exactly what column, what row. Um, of course it would be very tedious if you had a lot of them. And in this example, this is where we're using offset. And so what you do here is I'm giving it a range, and that's the nice thing with this is I can easily say a range. I, th I could do the other, th um, the same thing in the other one using a range and then reference it all, but um, it would be more time consuming. Um, but here I say, okay, look at E2 to E4, and so, oh, you know what? I, I should have cleared this out first. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna be dumping into here, and, um, and then the, you know, I tell it, an offset of where, so this is the reference, right, for the first one. Um, and I have a for loop here, so this for loop here to here is going to iterate over for each cell in the, um, in that's in between this, uh, I'm sorry, in the range, for each cell in the range, which is um, E2 to E4, it, for, for this range, um, the cell is going to iterate over it and um, pop in um, this data. And so the offset, what's pretty cool about it is you can tell it, and you can move left or right or up and down, right? In this example, I'm moving um, the first item I'm keeping zero, so I never am moving um, up um, yeah, up or down, I'm moving to the left um, or right. So left is negative, and that's why these numbers here are minus four, and so from here, if I say, okay, one, two, three, four, right, that is where my URL, or in this case it's the email address, right, that'll be the hyperlink the mail to, right, that's where that content is. The friendly version, which will be like the display, um, is minus three, and so again, it, it would start here, and so it's going to go one, two, three, and grab that, and that is, notice, um, so friendly here, and we see it down here, right, this is saying offset zero, so imagine in your head, this, this, I could hard code this, which of course would be silly. Um, to say minus three, body is minus one. I'm looking up top in that um, row. Oop, one, subject is minus two, and the URL is minus four. So that is, um, in reality, what is happening. I'm just passing it in a function, and that's why I don't have those there. That it allows me to just uh, code it up here in this way, and then it'll reference it. And so I can just um, pop this back in. I'm hitting undo a bunch. And, and that's basically it. So it's it's very similar to the last one in that it uh, it's creating a pretty version, a pretty hyperlink. Let me save this, reload it, and when I run it, bam, it throws in. It uses the this this column here as the what gets displayed. But notice um, that is all there. When I click it, oh, you know what? I have um, Outlook is shutting down right now. Let me. Uh, okay, so I um I was closing Outlook. So let me let me click this again. There we go. No, oh, huh, I'm trying to hold on control. And so notice it pops up with here's the email, the subject, and the body. Um, for that one, I can go to the next one and just click it, and it'll dynamically pull in what is in here, right? Of course, a um, couple things to note here is, uh, let's say, you know, when I was working with clients, I would often have um, other data I would want. I'd have something about... Um, a transaction or something, right, I wanted to notify people on. And so the fact that if I had the data in a spreadsheet, I could easily build this hyperlink um, and then just click it, and it pops in and writes a lot of my email. So this is the simple way where I'm I'm not even using Outlook. Um, and here, I'm just building the hyperlink, and that way when I click it, it opens my default editor with a subject line and body. However, um, what I typically do is I create a um, an Outlook email via com and make a nice pretty HTML email using of course this I still grab the data this way but I pop it into an HTML email which I have videos on that of creating a um, HTML email um, I'll try to reference uh, make a, a link to it in the uh, notes here but uh, it's a great easy way to use offsets are amazing once you get used to them um, and again, so I, I have one also that says, what if it's in, I want to move um, up and down in columns instead of rows. And that's just where you'd manipulate these numbers. Or, of course, you can manipulate both if you want. Um, but it's a great easy way to to move, a, once you know where you are, and you can move left or right or up and down. It's it's 
very handy because you don't have to um, know, and this one, know exactly what cell you're in each time. That's it. Thanks.